Father, there's no greater picture. There's no greater moment. There's a resurrection that's about to happen. And the two of you are going to come out as one. And you're going to come out as someone, as people that are better because of each other. Logan and I, we were, you know, we were best friends, you know, from the day that we met, you know, no matter how far we've gone in our relationship and the next steps that we've taken, that's still our foundation, um, you know, and that's, that's who we are. We're, we're best friends before we're anything else, and I think that's what's special about us. Since I was a little boy, I've dreamed about this moment right now. The moment that I would look into the eyes of a girl with a million dreams and call her my wife. God has been so faithful. He desires to give us his absolute best. And today, as I stand here in front of you, I know that to be true. From the day that I first met you, he has poured out his love on me through you. And every second has been a non-stop adventure. Every story worth telling begins with the words Logan and I. <laughs> and today, Logan, <clears throat> today I choose you, just as you are, to be no other but yourself. Loving what I already know and trusting the things that I'll discover. I choose to grow with you and create a life together that will far surpass any life that we could imagine alone. I choose to build a home with you on the foundation of Christ, that in all things he would frame our relationship and direct our ways. of our family and friends, I take you as my wife to become one person with you and declare that I am yours for the rest of our days. <laughs> Christopher Bryan, I stand here with you today to be united as one mind, one body, and one spirit. As we begin this journey, I promise to always keep my Heavenly Father first, keeping Him as the center that ties us together. Push myself to grow in His Word, all while encouraging me to do the same. Keep my Southern roots working just as hard as I can, but always building confidence in you as the leader of our home. Encouraging you to chase after your dreams, standing beside you every step of the way, even if it is the circus. <laughs> Fulfill my duties as your wife, being patient, kind, caring, and ever listening to your words. Last but certainly not least, to live a full life, always seeking after the plan God has in store, pursuing His will rather than my own. With all of that said, these promises did mean nothing without me relying on God's strength to complete them. I love you dearly, and I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life rising.
I am absolutely thrilled to say what I've been wanting to say for a long time. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You can kiss your bride. <laughs> be able to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Brian Lovell. Woo!